Welcome to the new map tutorial video series on the map browser. My name is Brendan and I'm part of the product team based here in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how to annotate and export. We'll learn the annotation tool and all the different exporting options. Why don't you help us wow your customer with our imagery in your presentation. For this demonstration let's fly to the Museum of Old and New Art Mona, the world famous art museum located within the Marilla Winery in the Berrydale Peninsula in Hobart, Tasmania. It is the largest privately funded museum in the Southern Hemisphere with over 1,900 collections in this museum alone. Let's start with the annotation tool. The annotation tool lets you quickly and easily add notes to the map that you are viewing. You can do this by selecting the tool and then clicking anywhere on the map. You will then be presented with a dialog box to enter the text you want displayed. Clicking away will apply this to the map. The next tool is the export imagery tool. This will allow you to export a high quality imagery into a JPEG file. Once you make your selection, this image will be downloaded by your browser. This tool gives you multiple options depending on your needs. Let's go through each of these options. First is the screenshot option, which exports imagery that you see on screen at its current zoom level. With this option, you also have the choice to include map objects, such as line markings and annotations within the exported imagery. Here's an example. The second option is the high resolution export, which gives you the opportunity to specify an area of interest that you want exported by simply dragging the bounding box that appears. Based on the area selected, you will be presented with multiple different resolution options. The resolution indicates how much area of the world is covered per pixel in your image. This can be great for presentations. The third option is the export georeferenced image. This selection gives you the same options as the high resolution export, except you can also configure the projection that the imagery will be downloaded in. This is an option you will need if you are intending to import our imagery into a third party application. This is important because if you want our imagery to align with plans or designs in your project, then they will need to be in the same projection. Here's an example. We hope you found this information useful and thank you for watching. For more information, refer to our product documentation site on docs.nearmap.com.